Hey, can you spell Cheney's last name? I've written escape word enough times <laughs> I should. J E A N G U I N E N. G U I E N I N. Oh, you got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> your last name what's the correct pronunciation uh well the english way i i made that up was jean gwenin uh-huh but in french is jean gwenin oh jean whoa, gwenin yeah. good luck. It's like just like you pronounce it <laughs> yeah jean so good like so yeah so now let's try to spell it after hearing that <laughs> the uh, be- best one is when you talk to telemarketer or anything on the phone they're like oh what, what's your first name like shanny and they're like Sh- Sh- Janie, Shani, like, like, what, what's your last name? And I'm like, I'm like, dude, forget about it. Yeah, you're like, you I was like, no, you want to stick with my first name. <laughs> yeah, what do they call like, you at Starbucks when you give your name? Jamie, <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> what does it take to get declared a, a lethal weapon? Like your your skills or your body is has been declared that, correct? <laughs> no, it hasn't. Yeah, That's what I like, just... tap my heart and make it stop. What? Can you do yeah, that, let's like... Steven Seagal? <laughs> sure. <laughs> what martial arts did you take? Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Yeah. And what belt are you? Uh, first degree black. Shit. <laughs> so have you ever had to Kung Fu fight? For real? <laughs> no, not really. Uh, you know it if you need it, right? Like, yeah, don't usually need it. <laughs> don't, like, mess with them, because they'll because his re- natural reaction will probably hurt you. Yeah, yeah didn't you? You know what I mean? Like you break like, someone's like, arm at, at the office or something, like playing around? Did you <laughs> that's break what I'm trying arm? to say. Like, oh. I wasn't going to break that out. So gonna he break came in to give but... you a tickle tickle, and then you're like, hi, <laughs> no. his arm ends up that way. It's not like that. It's like he, he asked me to show a move or something, and he, like, he must have freaked out or something. And like, a couple weeks later, he was like, dude, my elbow, man, it's just not getting better. Remember when you did that lock on me? Like, uh-huh. he, like he... Yeah, how do you get elbow surgeries? Oh, really? Yeah. He was a sales guy, right? So maybe. Yeah, he's. he's was he not homie. selling enough boards? He had to pick up the phone with the left hand now. <laughs> Switch. He had I mean, that can happen guy. too. I didn't know this, Kenny, but Tim Gavin used to date your cousin when mm-hmm. you were a kid. Yep. How was that? Do you remember Tim hanging around when you were a little kid? Tim used to come by our house. Like, if yeah, there was an ASR or something, you know, we'd, tell, we'd invite him. He was like family. Um, he was a major influence on my, on me when I was younger. Yeah, pretty crazy. Have yeah. you seen him lately? He's like all. I haven't you, you seen haven't him seen in a long time. You haven't he's seen like, the fact that he's. He's like ripped. He's, he's ripped. Like he's got a six pack. Shape. Yeah. Wow. Thrasher has right a whole now. page of Gav. Text a photo send, of a six pack right now. Send the six. <laughs> pick for a pick, Gav. I sent yeah, yeah. a photo of you guys. And we'll show him our six pack. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been in the tour van while Cheney drives? Yeah, all the time. Is he, is he a bad driver? I'm still here, so someone, no, he's not a, he's a, he's bad, not a driver. bad driver. He's not a bad driver. He's just, it's just funny. Like, you like to drive and talk to the Backwards, person. So very, like, I don't do it like that. I look in the mirror. No, you Like Dumb talk. and Dumber, like when he's driving the limo. Does he like, swerve when he does it? No, he's, no, he doesn't. He doesn't swerve. It's just funny. Like, you can, you know, we can hear you because I'm right here. <laughs> but you like to... <laughs> Explain something, you know, and I don't think that's Eye wrong. Contact. No, I swear to God, it's not I wrong. I look in the rear mirror all the time okay. when I talk Uh-oh. to people. My only uh, instance of Kenny driving was when I did work for DVS and we all did that um, go-kart racing and you oh. T-boned me and oh, I te- so bad. I, I'm not And good, I yeah. honestly got the wind knocked out of me. I thought I was going to roll the go-kart. I'm sorry. I did I'll never that. forget that. So I think <laughs> I it might be a little bit safer I'm than not you. Gonna, I'm not going to deny it. I suck at go-kart <laughs> driving. I, I'm horrible at it. We've done it. I've done it twice. And the other time, I T-boned Joey Pepper. <laughs> so, Not on purpose? No. I just couldn't Those stop. Those fast. He spun too. out and then I just... It's like deer in the headlight froze. Do <laughs> you still have a Rob Welsh wall in your room? Yeah, I do. Just like, is it, is it like a Welsh shrine? It's more like a, it's more like that's all I get to see of him skating anymore. So that's why it's up there still. Oh, like all the like old photos and ads and stuff? Yeah, like all these old aesthetics ads and sequences and photos, you know? If I come across like a, a, a magazine laying around, I, I'll try to find a, re- and I see an old photo of him in. Obviously, the magazine has to be old. Yeah, yeah. But I, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be a stab, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'll awesome. take the, I'll take the, 
the photo out and you know I'll bring it to the house you know actually anybody out there if they want to send me I can't find a Lakai ad that uphill I think this, the spots in Boston he's like back nose bunning it and if anyone wants to send it to me I'd be I bet you'll grateful. get it. <clears throat> Hey, so, so then now you're working alongside Rob Welsh in a way? Like, does he work for Expedition as well as ride for Expedition? Yeah. Rob is, is doing a lot of the design department and like... Uh, oh, cool. Makes all the clothes and marketing stuff. Like, he's more involved with all that stuff. I do more of the team stuff, but we... I mean, it's good to have someone that's been around and skating for as long as he has and myself and combined, like, you know, we know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Like, comes down to like what to do in skating and stuff like that. So I'm definitely That's grateful right. he's here, you know? Yeah. How long yeah. has Expedition been around now? 97, so like 16 years. Wow. And you started it with who else? <clears throat> Originally, it was Alfonso Ross, Chris Lambert, myself, uh -huh. Richard, and Troy. Okay. Gab sent me a you six a pack photo. photo. <laughs> Holy shit. <Wow>. No way. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Wow. And if, is and that if, instantly taking? Or he I don't, you would hope, right? He's like, hey, go, he has a son. <laughs> um, and he did send me one on a jet ski. Oh, sick. He Kenny looks Powers. like a awesome. UFC mm -hmm. fighter. But not like way better shape than yeah. Kenny Powers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kenny, did you hit your head pretty bad a couple of years ago and you had to stay in the hospital? Yeah. What's the story behind that? Uh, routine barrel heel flip. <laughs> that <laughs> just ball. went wrong. Yeah. I don't know. I, normally I like to like, slide on my butt, my butt, you know, or whatever. And uh, I don't know, I just, barrel heels, double set, stick. And I just, the ground was grippy and I just went like pretty loud. Like the footage, I don't oh. want to watch it because it's like, Hear it. out of all the times like I've seen footage of people like hitting their head and all that kind of stuff, like I feel like it was up there. Yeah. And um, yeah, like a depressed skull fracture, you know. Uh, what a they call depressed it? skull fracture? Yeah, it was just like... A, I remember when I hit my head, like I didn't black out. Mm -hmm. And I could remember everything. I remember everything. Mm -hmm. But I remember getting up, standing up, and my feet felt like I had like 30 pound ankle weights on each ankle. Like I couldn't m walk. So I sat back down and I was like, what the fuck? You know, I was like, I took Advil, which you're not supposed to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> didn't know that. Just so you guys yeah. if you hit your head, don't take Advil. And don't fall asleep, right? And don't fall asleep, yeah. So I go and the docs and I'm like, well, I'm, she clears me to leave. I'm like, well, I'm here. I might as well just get the CAT scan. Yeah, CAT scan. Yeah, scan. CAT scan. Uh -huh. You know, I'm sitting there and after I, I'm, I'm waiting to get the CAT scan, I throw up, you uh -huh. know, and then I threw up again. And then so I got the CAT scan, it comes back, it's like, yeah, I cracked the skull and they put me in the hospital. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was like super sketchy. It could have, it could have gone a lot worse. Uh, yeah, you know? thankfully you wanted to stay yeah. and get it checked out. And what's weird about the, what, what, about the skull is that when you break any other bone, it calluses, right? Meaning like new bone growth around the break and then the break heals itself. But with the skull, it doesn't do that because it, you need like, there's room in there for your brain to move around. You know what I mean? So if it calluses, like obviously it takes away the area the brain can move around, all kind of stuff. So it just fuses. So it's always a little bit weaker, I guess, mm -hmm. than like... Huh. It was originally. Yeah. So the doc's like, oh, just don't hit your head there again. Uh -huh. I'm like, sick. Thanks. Thanks. You know? So how long does that easy. take you out for? I mean, I was out for, I don't know, three months, four months. Yeah. Just like not skating. I probably could have skated, you know, yeah. whatever. I just, I wasn't. You got right. some thick skin. Just cut my hair too. <laughs> I used to have a mop that kind of maybe. Yeah, that was your helmet. Yeah, my, my freaking mop Like head. Kevin Romar, his yeah. helmet. Just, <laughs> Yep. <laughs> hey, what's with all the weapons in your trunk? Do you still have them there? Uh, is it no, like illegal? Not really. It's not like a protection thing, is it? Yeah, you know, I told you I, I do <laughs> yeah. martial arts, so I'll, I'll, I'll play with my weapons. Oh, so it, <laughs> it comes into play when you're performing martial arts? Yeah. The last one I had was a, a horse chopper. A and horse chopper? It's made to cut the legs of the horse off. What in the, the fight. So it's, it's pretty long in the blade. If like you have to this, fight a horse? <laughs> just are you fighting you know, centaurs? A horse chopper. That's so horse chopper. <laughs> that's what he called it. Yeah, I know. It's yeah, crazy. It's I've never heard of this. So I'm if a so horse is running at you and you're on you're like two horses and you have the horse chopper, it's just running and its legs <laughs> yeah, are just <laughs> gone? Horrible. You know, it's like so medieval times Dude, your back in the day and was the horse brutal. Is no, it yeah. is. You're like, what the heck are you supposed to do with this? You know? Okay, we're going to go to some Facebook questions. 
Lance Williams says, new Expedition 1 video coming? Question mark? Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, we're always filming. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to work on something. <clears throat> Are we thinking that it's going to come within the next year? <clears throat> no, I, I have, uh, we haven't worked on the f like a full length video format for a while now, like mm -hmm. because just the times is just different now. Yeah. You, need, you need more active stuff all the time. And we've been releasing, I don't know if you see like the Bruner's video, Ryan mm -hmm. Gillon's video, yeah, Spencer's. Yeah. So we can constantly having like parts and stuff coming out. Yeah. We work on plenty of projects, so there's going to be plenty of things from us coming up. Gold Lots video too? Gold video. Gold video, that's that actually out. a video that's going to be a full length video. Hector Viramontes says, when's the next Kenny Hoyle project dropping? So when's the next Kenny thing we can look forward to seeing? Uh, well, I'm working on stuff. I have footage. I need like better footage. <laughs> Keep pushing yourself. You know that's what I mean? something we're waiting for. I know. I'm waiting on it oh, too. Yeah. No, I'm working on it. I am. I'm working on I'm skating. Injuries and little things that are nagging are uh, always hold you back. Mm -hmm. But I've definitely been trying to skate and trying to skate more and uh, film. Nice. He's got. So, he's sitting on some good food. Nice. So I know definitely I have stuff. I just am working on stuff. I've had like a pretty bad ankle injury the last four or five months, mm. and so like I couldn't. I rolled it on May 25th. Like sprained it horribly. The worst one of my life which happens to be right at the start of summer. Yeah. So two months, I wasn't even able to like really stand on it, do anything on it. Yeah. I was on crutches. And, but I see, I thought it was gonna like heal quicker and it's just nagging and like prolonged. So yeah. it's something I've never had to deal with before. Yeah. And it's not been fun. No, which ankle is it? My left ankle. Mm. So it's not even just like, oh, I can do switch flips and nollie flips, whatever, but it's just, it's, it's being on it, skating on it for a while. Yeah is what hurts, so. Both of your parents worked at Rolex for 30 years and that you decided to buy a fake one in China? <laughs> is this of course. Real, is this really, did this yeah. really, okay, so. Yeah. Don't your parents get it, 30 years? Seems yeah. like they'd get a discount after 30 years, I don't know. So why did you go buy a fake one? Well, you still gotta pay for it. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> you don't but get you pay like Rolexes. way less. I got every fake stuff in China like everybody else. I'm gonna get, the full deck towel diamond like because i mean i'm not gonna buy a hundred thousand dollar watch fun, yeah. like even if it's half price like mm -hmm. yeah. so i just i just bought one like i bought a few relaxes and i bought some from friends and, and but they it was pretty cool like pretty close to like yeah the real deal and then i brought a fake one to my dad and he was looking at it he's like mm, like like the first one he tripped out and he opened it right away and i was like well if you open it like you'll see the real stuff in there but it was it's funny hey uh so tell us about the dvs box that you got when you asked for shoes can you explain i this? think the shoes came like a day or two later yeah but i got like a box of uh you know beer bongs and grinders and beer koozies because i was like want, i was like this is a little bit light you know <laughs> <laughs> i opened the box and i was like like you know i think i closed it opened it again like i thought it was going to change I was like what the hell is all this <laughs> and i was telling you this I don't know if it was Tim or Gabe or someone, but oh, yeah. they had a bunch of, uh, you know. Paraphernalia? Just, yeah, just fun <laughs> stuff. There's more stuff in there, too. I can't think of it, but it was pretty funny. Yeah. I thought it was going to be shoes, and it was all that. Yeah. It's Tori's signature grinder, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. <laughs> Appreciate you coming down. Yeah, man. When do we start? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys going to roll the tape yet? Yeah. yeah we're, let's just warm up. <laughs> He fell in, so his shins just went straight on the broken glass. Like The way he did it, that he didn't move his arms, and the tricks he was doing were fucking amazing too. 